Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in American men. Genetics and age play a role in its development, but what other risks are involved? Here to explain is Dr. Peter Albertson, a urologist at UConn Health Center. Doctor, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So let's start off by saying, or let's talk about the signs and the symptoms. And after here, you have you have an important um, speech that you're going to be giving pertaining to all, what we're talking about right now. Yes, um, I've been asked by the World Health Organization to go to Stockholm at the Karolinska Institute to talk on uh, many of the issues that uh, are, are current in prostate cancer. So you know your stuff. So let's talk about the Thanks. signs and the symptoms. Unfortunately, there aren't any, and that's really? why prostate cancer is, is such a silent uh, 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 a disease. Uh, it does not give any symptoms, no difficulty voiding, um, no pain. Uh, when you have those symptoms, you usually have advanced disease. So therefore, we like to find it much earlier. So if there are no signs and symptoms, you're saying that you should get, would you get tested or what would you recommend for, for men and at what age? The common test being done nowadays is the PSA, a blood test. Uh, frequently started about age 50, though occasionally men will get a single sample around age 40. Mm -hmm. There are issues with the test, but right now that is probably the best way of identifying prostate cancer early. What are the advantages and disadvantages of this PSA? Well, the PSA, when it works, identifies cancer early, allowing us to offer treatments such as surgery and radiation. Mm -hmm. The problem with it is it overdiagnoses this disease. Not only do we find the cancers that kill people, but we're beginning to find we're finding many men who have very small quantities of disease that often would never bother them during their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So that's the controversy that rages over this test. So going after talking about the treatments, they range from chemotherapy to radiation hormone treatments, how do you know which one is best for one person and, you know, the side effects, how do you gauge all that? Well, for early prostate cancer that's confined to the prostate, surgery and radiation are the major two uh, treatments. Mm -hmm. Once the disease goes beyond the prostate and spreads, then we start talking about hormonal therapy and after that chemotherapy. With all cancers, usually they say when you detect it right away, it's important to attack it, so to speak, from the beginning. Certainly if the disease is confined to the prostate, mm -hmm. surgery and radiation are the primary two therapies. Something I was reading a lot about, it's called active surveillance. Instead of surgery, some men prefer this. Explain this to me, active surveillance. Well, as I said, the problem with the PSA test is we find some cancers that require treatment, but others, very small volume, low-grade cancers, often don't require treatment or at least don't require it right away. So one option is to actually monitor the man and follow him over se several years to find out if he has the aggressive kind. If so, then we offer surgery radiation. Mm -hmm. If not, we continue to just monitor it. And as a doctor, I'm sure you've seen a case where a man comes in and you do attack it from the beginning and mm -hmm. you do, and, and things go well in yeah. their favor, so to speak. Very men do, many men do extremely well from surgery and radiation, but they all, any, any treatment has side effects. So whenever a patient comes in, you have to weigh the risks of the disease against the risks of the treatment. And it's different from patient to patient, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Dr. Albertson, thank you so much. And again, we also want to mention that September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So it's very important to uh, be proactive, especially this month. It's a good time to Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. Okay, thank Th you so thank much. Thank you.